Welcome to another episode of Sanford Says. My name is Lisa Holder. I'm the communications officer for the city of Sanford. Today we have a few very special guests with us to discuss the Hopper Academy. We have Art Woodruff, Commissioner District 1, who is also the, the Community Improvement Association of Seminole County board member. Welcome, Commissioner Woodruff. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for having us. And then we, we'd we like to introduce a couple of other guests. Okay. With us also is um, Betty Robinson, who is a member of the board of the Community Improvement Association and has actually been involved with Hopper Academy almost since the beginning and was a former student there. And also Martha Hardy Sanders, who was our favorite storyteller, who was also a uh, student at Hopper Academy. Okay. Welcome, everyone to the City of Sanford podcast, Sanford Says. As I said earlier, the topic today is Hopper Academy. This is a very interesting academy in the City of Sanford with a lot of wonderful, rich history. Commissioner Woodruff, would you like to share with the community and the listeners what is Hopper Academy and why is it important? Okay. Um, Hopper Academy actually began as early as 1870, and in 1881 was known as Colored School Number 11 and was on 7th Street at Cypress Avenue. In 1890, they, they built a, a larger building at the same site, and then by 1910 had built this current school at 1101 Pine Avenue. And they increased the size of that in 1926, and that's how the building stands today. At the time, it, it was the center of the community. It was the school for all the African Americans in what was then Orange County and it was the center of Georgetown's community and it's just an important piece of our history because it goes so, so far back, it had touched so many people's lives and it's also an important part of what was how society developed back then. It continued as a school until the 1960s when the new Hopper Center was built. Okay, and so it is the center, it was the center of the community and that's, a, is that, is that the goal of the board to, to have it become the center of the community or somewhat like that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's being redeveloped to, to be a community center, um, not just for Georgetown, but also a, a location that place that people from throughout Sanford and community can do things. Um, okay. But what I'd like is to let Betty talk a little bit about the early um, start of the project when when we first got the building and tell the history of the restoration of it and a little bit about being a student there. Betty, we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. An article in the Orlando Sentinel says that stated that the Sanford Fire Department want to burn Hopper down in a practice fire drill, but Miss Altamese Bentley got on the phone quickly and called Mayor Betty Smith and asked, why would you burn down a historic building? We weren't declared historic. She said, this is the first school for blacks in Seminole County. So the project was halted. And the members of the CIAS, Community Improvement, were known as the Pioneer Association and the Georgetown Association. And they came together and changed their name to the CIAS, Community Improvement Association of Seminole County, under the suggestion of Bernard Mitchell. And I want to put an insert in. If it wasn't for Hopper, there would be no Crooms Academy. I have a student handbook from 1954 to 1955, which states the history and tradition of Crooms Academy is anchored in the history and tradition of Hopper. That's very interesting and a, what a notable fact to have. And they're not, they're not next to one another. They're in different community neighborhoods mm -hmm. in Sanford. Mm -hmm. That's, I never knew that, and that is something to definitely underscore. Right. Dr. Crooms was the principal at Hopper Academy when he had the idea to build Crooms Academy. Understood. Okay. Yeah, he, oh, you say he was. He was the principal. At Croom, at uh, Hopper, excuse me, I went to Crooms too. <laughs> <laughs> They're having their reunion, aren't they? Having their hundred to uh, Yeah, we're having a reunion this month. Yeah, over at Crooms. But to get back to the organization, the first we used to meet on at St. James A.M.E. Church at the corner of Ninth and Cypress, 
and we've ventured out further, but Mr. Simmons, that was the city manager at the time, Miss Bentley went to him and told and talked with him, and he sent a young man out to help us with our project, and his name was Charles Rowe. And it took us almost three years, four, four years to get the building in 1999 when it was signed over from the county to us. Mm-hmm. And we started in 19, we started re- trying to refurnish it, redo it mm-hmm. since then. And we've been trying and we finally got another grant. We got one, we got one, our first grant from the county that helped us. Then we had a state grant, and when the hurricane came through, they pulled that away from us, so we didn't get it. So we had to wait to apply, and we got one recently where we have completed most of, almost everything in the building. Can we say, Betty, where is, where is Hopper exactly located? So it- Hopper is located at 1101 Pine Avenue, Sanford, Florida. Okay, for those listeners that may not be in Sanford. And you can, you can drive by this day and mm-hmm. see this mm-hmm. historic, wonderful building with great, rich history. Yep. And so before then, what would, what, what would have happened to Hopper if this organization didn't come? It would have been burned down or torn down. And thankfully, it has not. Mm-hmm. So it has we're not. here today with you lovely people to talk about its history, the future of Hopper. Art? Mm-hmm. Right. And then, um, Martha, would you tell us uh, some stories of your time as a student at Hopper? Oh, yes. That would be great to hear. I started at, at Hopper my first grade year in 1958. My teacher was Miss Thelma Shepard. We were one of her sugar lumps. That's what she called her class. She was a wonderful teacher. She told us that we could be anything we wanted to be. When she asked what I wanted to be, I said, I want to be a nurse. And the little boy sitting next to me Lou Charles Harrell, (laughs) he said he wanted to be a doctor. Miss Shepard told us both that we could be a nurse for me and a doctor for him. I'm a retired registered nurse. I nursed for 32 years, five months, and 21 days for the federal government. (laughs) Congratulations. Thank you. And right now, Lou Charles Harrell is a surgeon in Orlando, Florida. She told us we could be. We believed her, and we are. Yes. Did you say sugar lumps? Sugar lumps. Her 1958 class of sugar lumps. (laughs) What a fond memory (laughs) that you have about your teacher there. And and, and her her success stories of her students are are well and true and, and alive today. So that is wonderful. Is there anything else that we want to add about sort of what's happening now with with Hopper? Yeah, as Betty mentioned, we got a state grant um, in 2015, a historic preservation grant for $345,000. The city of Sanford added $133,000 to that. We raised over $100,000 from private donations. We've had hundreds of hours of volunteers uh, coming in and working on the building, and it's... 95 complete, completely done. We've got one room left that we need to finish up. The upstairs is going to be a beautiful venue for, for events and for weddings, for receptions. And so we're looking forward to getting that open to, to the public. Um, we have two groups that are using the building now. The St. John's Festival of the Arts has their Art for Kids program and their Art for Kids at Heart program. Uh, those are art programs for young people and for seniors. And um, Betty and Martha both take take part in the art program there. Mm-hmm. And we also have the Seminole County Printmakers Association has a studio there where they are are continuing sort of the almost lost art of doing engravings and making prints from those. Oh, yeah. And Martha is going to be starting a reading program um, early next year. I'd like to let her tell a little bit about that. Oh, we're so excited about the reading program. We understand how early reading introduced to the children is very important for their learning. 
So we planned at the beginning of the year to begin with the mothers and the babies. We'd like babies and toddlers to come. We'd like babies and toddlers to come, and we'd like to do it twice a week, and we'll have them twice in a day. I would like to do it like 10 in the morning and again at 2 in the afternoon and read to them and get them used to the red word. I, I would like to, to, to do that. I'm so excited about it. We're talking further about seniors coming and hearing the classics. So we have a lot of things in, in, in mind and we're excited about it and we just can't wait to get started. We also have a reading uh, assistance program for children who are slow in their reading and we want to have them after school and come and, and be with a, uh, a person to help them uh, increase their, their reading skills. So we've got a few things in the hopper. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. And so this building, if you're not, if you've not seen it, just picturing it in my mind and, and for those that, that are listening, it's, what does the building look like? It's made out of, do we know what kind of structure it's made out of? It's, it was built in what year? It was built in 1910 and 1910. added on to by 1926. It's um, all wood. Um, it's got a metal roof. It's about 9,000 square feet. Um, it has 66 windows in it, um, all of which have been removed and rebuilt and, and put Very back nice. in. Um, yes. And so, I mean, it's a beautiful old building. Yes. And so... How can people find out more? What if someone wants to assist? What, what if they want to donate? How, if, what if they want to volunteer, get involved? What's the best way for someone to do that? Probably the best way is to um, find us on Facebook under Hopper Academy. Uh, they could also contact us by email at hopperacademy at yahoo.com. Okay. And did we go over this Hopper? Where did the name Hopper come from? We don't know. We don't know. The story, the first story I heard from Miss Bentley was there was a man named Hopper, H A R P E R. Harper. Okay. And then it was, then she said they, they couldn't find him. So it was somebody in the community that had the same name again. So they still don't know. And okay. it, was, it was later spelled H O P P E R. Right. Mm hmm. So what does it feel like, if I may ask, to be in that building? And, and it, do, you, do you sense the people that have been there before? I mean, it must be so wonderful to be in that structure and, and to be able to continue to build on that and offer it to other people, next generations. It must mm -hmm. be a wonderful feeling for all of you, correct? It, it is. It is. It, it's, it's amazing. Martha? Mm -hmm. the, uh, Ms. Betty already mentioned that the beginning group met at historic St. James AME Church on the corner of Cypress and, and, and 9th Street. Well, the superintendent of schools was the superintendent of my Sunday school when I was a little girl. I didn't know she had all of these credentials. I just knew she was my Sunday school teacher. Right. And when I started in Miss Shepard's class, 1958 class of Sugar Lumps, she came down the hallway, and I said to her, what are you doing here? <laughs> and she said to me, I came to see if you were being a good girl. Yes. I want you to be a good girl. And we hugged. Right. Lisa, that was the time that I learned about protocol. Certainly. As she walked away from me, an upperclassman reprimanded me. He said, you do not hug her. Don't you know who she is? She runs this place. <laughs> and you cannot hug her. The next time you see her come down this hallway, you nod. Goodness, then you were in the fifth grade? First grade. First grade. <laughs> First grade. <laughs> she must have been listening. She must have heard the whole conversation. Because the next time we saw each other in the hall, we nodded. How wonderful. I hugged her at Sunday school, but not at school. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, what warm hearted stories to share with us. Thank you, Martha. Is there um, anything else we want to add about Hopper Academy, um, Commissioner Woodruff or Betty? The only thing I wanted to add with Commissioner Woodruff is that we have 
the venue for rent for events, but we also can will rent the land. If anybody doesn't want to go inside, we can rent the land outside the building on okay. the, the building grounds to right. some group that whoever whoever want to you know okay. use it. Okay. All right. Great. So Hopper Academy is a is a beautiful building. It has rich history in the city of Sanford, a historic city in itself. And we wanted to share this information with those listeners of Sanford Says because this is these types of stories is what makes Sanford, the city of Sanford, so beautiful. Its diversity brings us together, and it's a wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity here directly from Commissioner Woodruff, who has worked tirelessly on this project, the Hopper Academy, along with Betty Robinson, fellow board members, and Martha Hardy Sanders, the community leader and, and student. Uh, there as well. So, any last words, Commissioner Woodruff? Do, we, we, do you want to thank anybody for who's helped you well, uh, along the way? Um, there are so many people that have donated and, and volunteers that have come. It'd be hard to to try to list okay. all of those. Um, you know, it's just it's it's just such an important part of our history that we really need to to make sure we protect it and protect other sites like that in Sanford. Wonderful. I just appreciate you having us in to to talk about it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Betty, and thank you, Martha. Martha's got a Santa Claus hat on, by the way. <laughs> so I had to mention that. It's radio. You don't see that. But um, thank you so much for being here. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to Merry Christmas all of you. To you too. Um, and thank you again. This is Lisa Holder, Communications Officer for the City of Sanford. This is Sanford Says. You could find this podcast on any of the ways that you subscribe to your podcasts. And you could find us on the city website at sanfordfl.gov. Thank you for listening. Until next time.